as a mother not being able to see your child for more than two years it's so painful and i get it i fell for mary chewing Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do make sure that you subscribe, hit that notification bell so that whenever I upload a video, you'll be the first one to know. Do not forget to like and share my videos. It really helps me a lot. So guys, let's just jump straight into today's topic. Amerit Chuwenga has uh, been charged with fraud. She's been charged with uh, attempting murder, uh, money laundering, using forged doc documents that was been going uh over social media so she's been denied of her kids guys you guys for the for more than two years for more than two years mary and i think for the first time that she saw her kids paka circulator my pictures are vice president musuaka tambabora in zimbabwe in malawi i think that was the first time because she's been denied access totally she came out you guys a couple of weeks ago is it two months old so she came out on twitter she said a lot of stuff obviously gonna uninyatsa so they probably they will take your passport and all that and mary is not okay all right uh she is not feeling well and um here doctors they have said that kuti she cannot get proper medication in Zimbabwe, so she had to go to South Africa and get medication. But women, what is it? Mutemo, they're in hold of your passport, and each and every time she can't stand trial because she's not feeling well. I've read comments a lot that has been said about her, but I feel like um there are some times when you must have that heart, that inner inner. Mary was living life and now to see she comes to court and you see she's struggling walking she's been she's been through a lot that woman and I feel for her but for her to take somebody else's husband I'm not sorry for that I'm not sorry for you for that and uh, a lot of people they were saying karma got you and um if you took somebody's husband, come on, come on is gonna get you, no matter what. But the main thing is now, she's been out, guys, and crying about. She's crying for help to see her kids, to have access of her kids. She has been crying about that. We're not, we're not gonna talk about the fraud thing. We're not gonna talk about the money laundering. We're not gonna talk about the forging documents. We, we were not there, honey. And we don't know what really happened. It's for the, it's for the two of them. It's for the adults. We're just kids here. But we're gonna talk about her being denied access to your kids. You guys, it's painful. You know. And today I was, um, sitting thinking kuti i can't even let go of my child only for a day what about more than two two years it's really painful and she has come out and she cried out to women she called out to the president she called out to to everybody and she said kuti uh i've crowded out, i've reached out to the president but the process it seems to be too slow for her you know that feeling of i just want to see my kids and if it is a process that the president is doing so i think in uh, in his side it seems to be too slow because remember is the woman who went into labor more than three times how is she surviving at the same time she's very sick and um this is a moment that you are thinking about death a lot because number one you're sick and you are you you can't have access to to medication this is the time to spend a lot of time with your kids because you 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 have that feeling i can go anytime i can die anytime even if as healthy as i am i'm not sick i don't have a headache but that feeling comes also i can die anytime so i must make use of every moment that i have with my daughter what is she feeling guys for some for some reasons i don't 
I'm not that I'm not a fan of side chicks. I'm not a fan of somebody who takes somebody else's husband. But on this case, I felt this woman, and this woman is in pain. More than the pain that you can think of. And I guess what makes her to deteriorate each and every day is because of she she's not seeing your, your children no matter how sick you can be if you have kids those little patients they give you a reason to wake up in the morning those little humans that you brought to the earth and you feel like everything is okay no matter no matter even if even if she was not getting medication and having her kids around her. I, I feel like she was going to be okay. No matter what is going to come, no matter what is happening, she will not even think of it. The best feeling ever is to be around your kids. I don't know with men. Men, you know what? Men, you know, men, they can leave their kids and go wherever they where they go and then come back after 20 years. But as women, we don't do that. And what will keep us moving, like I said, is those little humans that come out of you and that gives you a reason to, to be better, to do good, to be something else, to, to be happy. Because you see that even no matter how hurt you are, no matter how, how much a man can hurt you, but those little pests, those little people, those little humans around you, you feel alive. And this woman, she is missing a lot. I remember telling my friends, good guys, why didn't you tell me? Kuti, being a mother is priceless. And it's that, it's that feeling. I, I don't know how to express it, but I felt different. When I was that single person without a child, without a husband, it was different than who I am now. Trust and believe me. When you don't have a child, you don't have a reason to wake up. You don't have a reason to work hard. You don't have any reasons even to, to do better. You don't have any reason to, to correct yourself. You make mistakes and you think it's okay. But if you have a child, you will feel like, I need to be better for my child. I need to be a better person for her. I need to be a better person for, 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 for him. For Mary not seeing a kid almost three years. This is making everything worse. This is why she keeps on falling. And I saw the comments, everybody was saying, come on, God, she will be. And um, yeah, everybody is entitled for his or her own opinion. Yeah. And if it's come, it's come, girl. But to the side of being a mother, and I felt it. I don't want to lie. I tried... I tried, I wanted, I wanted to talk about this yesterday. And then I just said, ah, no, let me just forget it. Things that include president, all that. It's gonna, it's gonna be a little bit difficult for me. As you can see, the conversation is a little bit dip difficult because you go, you don't mess around with the president. I'm just surprised that you can love someone and then you woke up the following morning, that person is dead 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 to you you have got three kids together what are you gonna say to to what are you what are you telling them about their mother what are you saying what conversations are you having with these kids because as much as you you ignore about that now the moment you at the moment these little humans grow up they begin to change based on how they grew up the information that was lacking Okay, um, I feel like this is the whole issue is be, it's, it's a bit emotional for me. And um, because I always see the cards, even though they don't want even to see them. They don't even want to have any relationship. It's not about you. It's not. It's not. And it will never be about you. Okay, it will never be about you. What you can do is the, the best that you can do for your children is for them to have a relationship with their father or with their mother. I love how white people co-parenting. They co-parent very well. And you'll be surprised to hear that actually they just, they divorced like six years ago. 
And when they are together, they are laughing, they are having that conversation, they are talking, they are bringing back their memories. But don't you ever think that they're going to end up in bed together? Never. And in our black community, we need to start co-parenting very well. And we need to think about kids more than us. Do not be selfish as a, as a mother. Do not be selfish as a father. In our black community, my baby daddies, they end up which is wrong. Okay, if you don't want somebody and if you don't have money, do not pay maintenance. Why do you do that? It's wrong. It's wrong. And we need to come to a point where we correct ourselves and know that it's not about us. Especially co-parenting. It's not about us. It's about the kids. You must be able to greet, to have a conversation with the father of your kids. In a case ya kuti marampana, hapana mwana. In a kwa kwendende kwangu, life goes on. We don't need to talk. I feel like um, this issue can be resolved. This issue can be solved. Zisnakana mapurisam kati and... These are two people. They seem to be in love, you guys. They loved each other. I'm going to put their pictures over there and there. They seem to be in love. And I wonder what killed that love. And it's more than... I, I believe like it's more than fraud. It's more than attempting murder. It's more than forging documents. There is something that happened. Because you cannot just hate a person. In extent, Yakuti, you don't care about how they're doing, their mental wellness, they are uh, healthy. If I am to break up today, I will hate somebody to that much. Um, people, they are saying, uh, come a goat, uh, got Mary, but... Let's talk about the kids. What do you think? Uh, what do you think must be done? Yeah, guys, that's it that I have today. Tell me guys what you think in the comment section. Uh, what do you think about co-parenting? What do you think about um, after a breakup or after a divorce? Are you able to communicate with uh, your ex-husband or your ex-wife? Do you guys have a good relationship? Or do you guys like... You don't talk or... I'll be there in the comment section ready to engage with you guys uh that's it for today until next time bye for now